Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to review Schools Out Forever from 2021. Now, here's the premise. A young lad finds himself in the middle of a pandemic. Ooh, a bit on the nose there. Well, he's forced to find solace in his, in his school, right? It's a big, massive, great big school outside of the city in England. You know, where rations are now scarce and... and you know, the power scale, the balance of power is, is now shifting. You know, all these students are still there with very few teachers. And I mean very few teachers. So, you know, the younger lot are trying to sort of find their feet and 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 come up against, like, enemies. And, and just the sheer, you, you know, um, the sheer survival of, of now being left alone without their parents. Because everyone's sort of stuck in, you know, different parts of the world and whatnot. And it's all a standstill. You know, it's really quite like a survival film. And then enemies start to pose a real threat to these main characters, to these children and, uh, and teachers. I thought it was really fun. There's, there was some really, um, surprisingly, there were moments where like there were fight scenes and kills and deaths and whatnot. And they were really inventive, like for a low budget film, like the, the camera work was really inventive. Like they really got, it's, it, it's as if you were watching like a wrestling, wrestling on the TV, like these high end productions from wrestlers, like these moves that they're doing, you know, chairs, tables, jumping off the top rope. And it really quite, I, I found them scenes quite amusing. Although that's, you know, that's not, not the whole, the whole picture you're going to get from this film. There's a lot more. That you can like or not like yeah crazy moves um you know there it's quite a bloody film there's a lot of kills as the film goes on you know darker moments i got the feeling there was lord of the flies uh inspiration here you know uh, some horror very much with the students and the power shifting and and how they interact with each other in the new world that they're set in a few errors timing wise pacing dialogue was off sometimes the way they spoke it and the actual lines themselves uh, there was a few characters in particular like a main character that was a bit overpowered i mean he's only a young lad but he seems to be capable of these quite uh quite grown and and quite grown up sort of moments and you know the the capabilities of doing stuff but hey ho yeah morality is questioned a lot it's re reiterated throughout the film it's probably like a deeper message there again lord of the flies uh inspiration yeah the last thing i've said it was a great it's not it's, it might not be everyone's cup of tea and you could pro probably pick apart some things that i haven't spoken about here but i really enjoyed it and for a British film, I I really want to see more of these productions, you know, on British soil, like the UK productions. I, I really enjoy them and I think there should be more of them. I think they should get more of a limelight and more space and, and time for, for these excellent writers to think up of these films. But there we go. School's out forever. Thank you.